What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to display your CPU and GPU usage, as well as your VRAM and RAM utilization while using your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. While playing a game on your Windows PC, use the shortcut Windows key and G. This will toggle your Xbox game bar overlay. In case nothing is opening up, then open up your window settings. Under Gaming, click on Game Mode. Make sure to enable Game Mode. This will not only allow you to access the Xbox Game Bar overlay, but it will in addition improve your overall performance when playing a game on your PC. When using the Windows key and the G shortcut, you can preview all of the widgets in the top navigation. Click on the Performance icon to toggle your performance widget. On this window, you can preview your current processor and graphics card usage, as well as how much VRAM and RAM is used at this moment. This can help you a lot in determining if the game you are running is demanding and causing issues related to your system performance. If you wish to pin this overlay while in-game, then simply click on the pin icon on the top right of this window. This will allow you to see this panel when exiting the game bar overlay again. You also have the option to reduce the size of this panel while in-game. To show an FPS counter and change some important settings, click on the Preferences icon on the top right of your performance widget. In your Performance options, change the graph position in relation to your CPU and GPU indicators. Below, I prefer to enable the Override Default Transparency option and set the transparency setting to 100%. This will prevent this widget from taking up too much on your screen by showing a colored border. Make sure to select an accent color that works best for your game. In most cases, you will want to use a bright color which distinguishes itself from your game. Under Metrics, make sure to select the metrics you wish to see in your performance widget. All of these should be enabled by default. To disable the widget again, make sure to unpin it in your Xbox Game Bar overlay. In case you experience issues with Xbox Game Bar, then search for Xbox Game Bar in your Start menu search and click on App Settings. Here, allow the app to access your camera and microphone. These will only be utilized when using the in-app chat or when recording your gameplay. Set the Let this app run in the background option to Power Optimized. Lastly, scroll down and select Repair. This will take a second to make sure that the application is complete and up to date. You might need to log back into your Microsoft account after repairing the Xbox Game Bar application. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.